your solar array complete, it's time to set up the gateway unit which will communicate the production data to the cloud-based monitoring platform where the homeowner can view their solar production online and on their smartphone. These steps are covered in our next video, the ECUR installation series, available on AP Systems YouTube channel, youtube.com slash apsystemsolar. When DC power is first applied to the microinverter, it blinks one quick red light, followed by three short green blinks. From this point on, it will blink once every 10 seconds while power is applied and it is communicating with the ECU. If the light is flashing a fast green blink every two seconds, this means that the unit is producing power but is not communicated with the gateway in more than one hour. There's an easier way to verify operation than checking microinverter LEDs on the roof, that is, by using the ECU app. To learn how to connect to the ECU using your smartphone and the ECU app, see video 4 of our previously mentioned ECUR installation series on our YouTube channel. Once you connect via Wi-Fi, check the home screen of the ECU app and look for a green dot verifying that you are connected. Next, Look for the microinverter icon with the word number next to it. The first number tells you how many microinverters are communicating with the ECU, and the second number tells you how many you've scanned and registered to the ECU. Check to see that these numbers match. If they do, all your microinverters are connected and operating normally. Again, if you have any issues getting connected, be sure to watch the ECUR installation video. Next, check the real-time data to verify that all the modules are showing as green, or producing power, and that grid voltage and frequency are okay. If you don't see the same number of microinverters communicating as you have installed, you'll want to check a few things. 1. Verify that the microinverter serial numbers have been entered correctly. 2. Verify the AC and DC connections on the roof and that all connections are seated properly. And three, verify the ECU Zigbee antenna is installed. AP Systems microinverters are rugged, durable, and designed to last. However, if you should experience a system problem such as an installed microinverter not communicating, here are a few tips to help you diagnose and resolve them. There are typically three areas where your problems may exist. A. The microinverter itself may be having problems, or B. The microinverter is working fine, but it's having trouble communicating with the ECU, or C. The microinverter and ECU are operating normally and something else is causing problems. Please be aware that the majority of problems reported to the AP Systems Call Center are typically found to be in the category C, so before you call, it's important to first check a few things off your list to verify proper system operation. First, you want to verify the utility voltage and frequency are within the ranges shown in the technical data sheet for the product. This can be found in the resource library at apsystems.com. Next, check the connection to the utility grid. Verify utility power is present at the inverter in question by removing AC, then DC power. Please note, Never disconnect the DC wires while the microinverter is producing power. Reconnect the DC module connectors and watch for the three short LED flashes. Check the AC branch circuit interconnection between all the microinverters. Verify each inverter is energized by the utility grid as described in the previous step. And make sure that all the AC breakers are functioning properly and in the on position. Check the DC connections between the microinverter and the PV module. Using a voltmeter, verify the PV module DC voltage is within the allowable range shown in the technical data sheet. If reconnecting the microinverter doesn't produce the three short green LED flashes, it's possible there's a microinverter problem. Check the LED on the microinverter unit. A red light, either blinking or solid, or no light at all can mean a microinverter problem. If you see a steady red light on the microinverter, this means the unit has detected a GFDI, ground fault detection interruption error in the PV system. The microinverter will continue reporting the fault so long as the GFDI issue exists. 
You'll need to resolve this ground fault problem in the array. Once it's resolved, the error can be cleared and the light will change once again to slow blinking green. You can learn how to clear this and other errors in the ECUR installation manual in the resources library of AP Systems website. If you see no light, verify proper cabling and that connectors are properly seated. If you see a blinking green light, whether slow or fast, the issue is probably with the ECU. Let's take a look at diagnosing ECU problems. If there's no data being displayed for one or more microinverters in the ECU, ECU app, or EMA, this is likely a communication issue, not a microinverter problem. If the data display for all microinverters is erratic, where data appears sometimes and disappears at others, this is also likely a communication problem. If the data display for only one microinverter is erratic, but the rest report normally, it's likely a microinverter problem. If restarting the ECU does not resolve the problem, check connectivity of the homeowner's router. Verify their internet connection is working. Next, check the connection of the ECU to the router. If the ECU is connected via Wi-Fi, perhaps the homeowner changed their network password or ISP. Try connecting the ECU to the router using an Ethernet cable. If still unresolved, check the proximity of the ECU to the closest microinverter. Place the ECU temporarily closer to the array to see if proximity or an obstacle such as a metal roof may be the problem. If this resolves the issue, permanently relocate the ECU in a position to better communicate with the array. If the issue persists, contact technical support for diagnosis. Remember, an AP system support tech must be able to troubleshoot the issue online in order to send a replacement, so be sure not to disconnect or uninstall anything before the AP systems team has had a chance to diagnose the system online. To contact AP Systems Technical Support, visit your local AP Systems website and navigate to the support page. Here you'll find the phone number for your local support team and a form to submit any issues you might be seeing.